my adult body scan and I can actually say that I was horrifyingly shocked that my body fat since last scan has gone up quite a lot. So um, I'm going to go through everything a bit later with you as to the comparison with the results. But um, I guess unless I had done this scan, I, in my head I would, I'm actually really shocked that my body fat has gone up. I thought it would have stayed the same or gone less. But it's good news, so I guess it's a good thing that I'm doing some training with PT tacks and stuff too, because I really need to be pushed. And this is a definite short by time that yes, I've been a little bit overindulging lately. Guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Yazzie from the Yazzie Diaries. If you haven't already given me a subscribe, you can do so. Because my my kind of like today is going to be a really raw vlog, like just kind of a day in the life of moi. So it, some things will be kind of continuous throughout sequentially continuous. So to start off today, I have to go to the dentist for my six monthly check, get my chompers checked. Then I'm going to the gym. And yesterday I got my body scan done and it was 31% 30, body fat, which is really, really high. So I'm kind of like in analyzing as to how that particularly came about. And yeah, I guess, you know what, like I've had some hormonal disruptions happen in the past, you know, six months since I did that, which would have yeah, contributed to my body fat. I was given the pill and some other things that uh, could be contributing factors to that. But I, however, I've already done an hour fast cardio. Now I'm gonna go back, but I have something that I wanna share with you and that is why I will never, I just want you guys to know, I will never, ever, ever, ever endorse anything in my channels or on my social media that I do not agree with or I would not wear myself. So about three months ago, I had a company, Australian website, Australian business, Australian brand, they said, to promote and endorse and affiliate with them for their label and I said well you know like they had a good social media following so I thought I'll give them a shot but I could pretty much tell straight away like, mm, this ain't gonna be good so I said please send me a sample three weeks later I was already thinking mm -mm, this ain't good because three weeks it had not come in fact it's been a few months later and they were gonna send me they sent me one pair of active wear leggings and they sent me another Body, like bodysuit, like crop and leggings, which still have never come. So anyway, I knew from that point it was going to be terrible, but I, you know, I still waited for it to come. And I, I mean, I could name and shame right here, but I don't need to name and shame because you can't run a terrible business with terrible products and charge people a hundred dollars for a pair of leggings when you can go and buy good quality ones. And you know, <laughs> anyway, so they arrived. Not even they didn't even have the like. They didn't even have to decide to just like have it sent to them and change the packaging or anything to their own business. They sent it straight, straight from the factory from Jang Bang at Jing Dong Kun, Jin Do Huang Ho, Jing Tong in China. Must admit, quite a cute style that I chose. Yeah, it came in the like shitty packaging too. Chinese writing. Dude, it cost them like five cents to manufacture or just like buy off Etsy or Alibaba. The worst elastic, the worst quality control. I don't know if you can see how see-through they are from the camera, but they are completely see-through. Cute little runched bum and everything, but no. These would last, maybe you can see the see-through there. I don't know. But these would last a couple of washes literally you'd wear them a few washes maybe um, like a maximum one month wear if you're wet like for me I live in uh, three quarters of my life I'm in active wear the other the other quarter I'm sleep so these like while see see how see-through that is no so um I'm going to take these down to the gym today and I'm going to change into these because I won't dare wear these out in like public. I'll be like, oh my goodness, see through. So no way. Um, and I'm going to do a session and see how they hold up for you just to prove to you all that I will never, ever, ever, ever endorse anything that I would not wear myself or do, do myself that will be like value for money. Look, if someone came up to me and said, would you buy this for a dollar? I'd be like, it's a dollar, whatever. But that's all it's worth. So um, that is one. And the other thing is, is that when it comes to my supplementation, sports supplementation, right, I'm going to show you a photo from my body in 2013. Now, 2013, I was working extremely hard for my body. And it, actually, I was working extremely hard for my body for a good like few years before that too. Um, and I was really trying to get into penthouse. That same year, I did my first spread for penthouse. It was such a milestone and achievement for me. That year, I 
pulled out of uh, my first bikini competition on stage because I was just miserable. Now my coach at that time, who I'd had three years prior, she had put me on a whole bunch of supplements, like a whole bunch. One of those supplements she gave me was a thousand milligrams of kelp to eat, eat each to have to eat to have each day. Now kelp is iodine and iodine affects the thyroid. Now I can safely say that, sorry guys, boys who are listening, this is TMI, but she, I lost my period for a period of three years. And at the time I was like, yeah, I don't have a period. Like, you know, it's great. Like, great, who wants a period? And one day this is not good. I did blood tests, my, I was being, my thyroid was being over-treated and they're all like, you've got to stop taking this supplement. Why, why are you taking this? And my coach is giving it to me. I stopped it periods came back. I, I kind of got rid of her as my coach anyway because I realized then that she was giving me this without, you know, and she kind of stuffed up my body, but of course she became defensive. Then um, I say my thyroid has never ever healed. I started to, uh, my body just ballooned out, like ballooned, I gained a whole bunch of weight, like everything just like. Took another two endocrinologists to work out then that um, my thyroid then was underactive like it had not recovered from being over treated for three years on that thousand milligrams of kelp so now I have a thought when I say I have a thyroid condition my coach gave me a supplement that is readily available over the counter to anybody who wants it and it has given me a permanent condition that will affect me now for the rest of my life so now I have to take thyroxin which is a synthetic form of the hormone that the thyroid gland produces um, because my thyroid doesn't produce it on its own. So I will never, ever, ever, ever dose you guys. I have studied a Bachelor of Health Science with a Nutritional Medicine major, but I have not graduated. I am not qualified to dose anything for you. I will only, if I've had a good result with something myself or I like it, I'll say to you, hey, go speak to your endocrinologist first because it, just because something is natural and it comes from nature, it's medicine, right? Because before there were chemicals chemically made medicines, everything was naturally based. Really kind of gonna have a laugh about the leggings say and how that pans out at the gym. And then I'm going to see the psychologist to get hypnotized. I'm gonna go deep inside the realm of my subconscious mind. Something that I've wanted to do since last year, but it was finding the right person to do it for me so I could hypnotize myself and I do so on a daily basis, I hypnotize myself. But the hypnosis that I do doesn't go back into past memories. It only goes like to current situations and everything like that. And it's more like manifestation type hypnosis. With a psychologist, they'll go into past memories. And people have gone into past memories from infancy and even past life. So you can go back and you can find those memories which are causing you issues in your current life because your subconscious is responsible for 95 to 97% of your actions. So you really need to trust the person that's gonna do it for you. I've met with her twice before. First time was just a general like chit chat to basically get to know you. Second time she did hypnotherapy on me for... By the way guys, that right there is called a bin chicken aka the ibis bird and they're an introduced species and they're a real real pest they're not like so um so foul so anyway you have to really really trust the person who's going to do it for you because they are going to go into your subconscious which is responsible for so much of your actions what happens in your subconscious is things that happen in your conscience which is just from general everyday things and just crap that other people put onto you thoughts, things that people put into you. Like we're born really innocent and we're born with a complete clean slate. And throughout life, people, and it usually stems from our caregivers and our parents, implant things into our conscience, like our teachers at school, kids we go to school with, into our conscious mind that then goes into your subconscious mind. And then we blame ourselves for our actions that affect us as an adult or the way that we handle situations, the other kind of people that we let into our lives and how we deal with certain things. But in order to go back into such like memories, you really need to have like a really clean slate. Like it's like peeling away an onion. So like you've got to go to the weather layers because you can't go that deep inside your subconscious if like your outer layers are not healed properly. Oh my gosh, I have a third. So for the past 
year I've been working on myself and getting to myself for a very deep level and I'm ready to be completely hypnotized now oh my gosh this ibis bird Ugh. no go away I'm gonna show you no go away <laughs> No. <sighs> you know, I'm all about animal protection and things like that, but those birds, ibis birds, are pests and they're scavengers. They're called bin chickens, and I chased it because it went to go, literally, it went to go near my drink bottle. That's just yuck. Oh, the most foul creatures ever. So, I'm doing that at the gym, and I'm going to go to the psychologist, and I'm going to... Hopefully, look, I don't know what to expect, guys. I don't know what to expect. She had hypnotherapy on me before, but we have not done hypnosis where we go like deep into my memories and stuff like that. I don't know. I've never had this done to me before, and I don't know what to kind of expect. I do trust her a lot. She's awesome. And um, I guess I can film for you afterwards. So you'll have to watch the end of the video to see, I guess, what happens and what comes out and, and everything like that. Um, but anyway, for now, meantime, I'm going to take you down to the gym and I'm going to change into my like beautiful active wear after I finish from the dentist. And yeah, today's going to be pretty raw and we're going to just, yeah, go along. But I'm really excited to see what my like athleisure wear is going to turn out like. So ciao, adios, check you later. <laughs> Hey, how's it going? It's Tatsy, who gave me my killer workout last week. <laughs> so, I decided to be a little bit obnoxious and I was not believing my scan results from yesterday very much, so I went and did it again. So, just a little bit of a note to you guys make sure you take your socks off when you do it because I didn't wear my socks yesterday and apparently it does alter the results. So I was a little bit hopeful that because I didn't wear socks today that it would change my body fat percent ratio from 31% but in actual fact it did not. But I thought I would just go into a few other little details of you singers. I was just all about the, oh my gosh, 31% body fat. And hashtag, well, YouTube disclaimer, I do not think that I am fat. I do not think that I am obese. I'm very happy with my body. What this is about is a health channel and I'm insulin resistance and having a higher percentage of body fat makes me much more susceptible to type 2 diabetes than other people and I do not want to have diabetes later on in my life as well as heart disease and everything like that. Therefore, to maintain a healthy and optimal body fat percentage is not just about a physical appearance, it's about maintaining overall health and well-being. So, in going back to everything else though, my... Um, Everything else besides the body fat looks really good. So my lean body mass is high. 
So that is lean muscle. So I have a good amount of lean muscle. Optimum amount is for my age, height and everything else. And also being female, because females are evaluated differently to males. And it's 49.8, which is uh, actually higher than what it would be considered like normal. Um, my weight is down 0.4, like 400 grams from yesterday, but that could be dehydration um, because you know I had I did this after a workout. Skeletal mass is great. I am in the high range, so my bone density is very good. That means I am less susceptible to osteoporosis when I'm in older age. My protein levels are actually optimal according to this, which is contrary to what my blood test said. But you know my mineral m minerals are high. Interesting and my water is optimal 35.9 and it should be 31.8 so maybe I'm not really dehydrated at all but it's interesting 400 grams of, maybe I did a poo <laughs> 400 grams of poo <laughs> from yesterday um, and it also says about how much I should be eating per day consult a trainer well yeah because my body fat is within the high range however my visceral fat level is nine, which a visceral fat is the dangerous fat, which sits underneath your abdominal muscles. So within your abdominal organs, that's your visceral fat area. Now, visceral fat is the most hardest fat to get rid of. If you have a genetic condition like myself, like insulin resistance, you are prone to having this fat. It sits on your internal organs and it, it can cause a lot of damage. Um, it is unable to be removed by liposuction. And also with exercise, guys, you cannot spot reduce. So the amount of number of sit-ups that you do is not going to change the amount of fat that comes off your abdominal area. So my abdominal, my visceral fat is nine, which is balanced. Like five, sorry, six to nine is balanced, but over 10 is over range. So I'm kind of like, could be, if I don't watch it, then I could go into the overbalance, which is a dangerous level. Now, my total body fat, okay, look, when I'm gonna go into this body fat, I'm not gonna feel, I'm not gonna to feel too bad about it and I'm gonna tell you why. Yesterday I had a little bit of a freak out, but look, I have been on the oral contraceptive pill as well as some other hormones which act like boost estrogen and things like that. When you put those hormones into your body, you as a woman will gain a lot more like hip tissue, booty tissue, like my hips and my bum and everything like that does have a really high percentage of fat. So besides that, yeah, okay, look, I'm in the high fat region. It's probably on my bum and my hips, which is estrogen based, which is a clear indicator of being on the oral contraceptive pill because I'm gonna go into this as to, and some other hormonal things which are boosting my estrogen and female hormone things, which I'll go into as to why at a later date because it's kind of irrelevant to this story. So I'm not gonna, because my abdominal visceral fat is kind of, you know, not dangerous, not high, I'm gonna think, consider that it's on my booty. Now, what is very interesting is that my lower half and my upper half, so apparently my, I'm imbalanced clearly well because yeah, my booty and my legs are genetically bigger than my upper half, but before, as you would see in that other photo, I used to actually have a bigger upper half body and fashionably back in the day, um, it was fashionable to have a smaller legs and smaller thighs. So I used to never really train legs. And plus I was a swimmer, so I had a bigger upper, see a tatsy? <laughs> I had a, <laughs> had a bigger up, upper body than my lower body. So when I went to compete, my coach was like, we well, need to get your legs balanced to your upper half because your upper half is bigger than your lower half. So I've been, you know, working out and I love a big booty and I love big chunky legs because fashion has changed and I just you know what I'm genetically blessed there so why not just roll with that and you know what some people have to get booty implants or fat transfers to have a booty like mine but you know what guys I'm very very happy to say that I'm happy for once in my life that I got something like amazing in my, <laughs> in my butt cheeks <laughs> Thank you, whoever that came from. So um, now I guess it's in balance, but what's interesting is apparently now my left and right is in balance, whereas before it was balanced. So I have a few things to work on. Yeah, I do want to get my body fat percent ratio down, which I'm sure it's from my butt and my thighs, like, and as well as my abdominal area. So I do need to lose a few things. So it's all it is, guys, is just a wake up call that I've, I've spotted this now and addressed this now, so I would not get worse and get into the very like, extreme area so it's only twenty dollars 
to do this scan, you can download the app, the Eat Bolt app on your smartphone. And so every time you do a scan, it records the, um, it records everything in there. So you can refer back to that next time. Um, and yeah, 20 bucks, you do it like every month and you'll completely stay on track like forever and ever and ever. So it rotates around the CBD clubs and yeah, I mean, definitely worth it. So I'm gonna try and, I'm gonna do it again in like a month or just before it's leave, leaving here and see what my, you know, see how I improve because I really wanna get that body. But yeah, I, I thought it might've been my muscle, but it's not, it's actually, yeah, it's just, yeah, I need to stay to lose some more body fat. Happens, and a disclaimer again, I don't think I'm fat. I'm looking after my overall health and well-being to ensure that I do not end up a type two diabetic. Okay, so now I've just got down to my double session for my psychologist. I'm a little nervous. Then just said that I need to start wearing a night splint at night, which kind of sucks because that's very uncomfortable and very annoying. But apparently I'm still grinding my teeth at night and I have to protect my teeth, my beautiful teeth at night. And I need two fillings next week. Oh well. You know, you're just gonna do these things because no one wants to be toothless. I mean, it's all right if you want to be toothless, but I don't want to be able to be toothless. <sighs> so I'm kind of a little bit nervous. And I've got to go back to the gym. I don't know if I'm really gonna feel like working out after this hypnosis session. Stay tuned for what happens after this session.